What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft for the PlayStation 4. In the last episode we just started, decided to start a slumber party with the Testificate Villagers, but it looks like the night is over now and we are actually in a dangerous spot here because there's a creeper behind us. Oh no! Oh gosh. It looks like there was enemies and zombies and creepers all over the place. Now we gotta save the town. Save it. Oh no. Or <laughs> just explode everything and have millions of dollars in property damage that we'll be accountable, accountable for. Please don't sue me, Testificates. I'm trying to save you. It looks like there's a zombie down there as well. Oh man, this is havoc. The town's under attack by zombies and the undead and spiders and creepers and how did he get inside of the house and now he wants It's a zombie to What? I didn't know that was a thing. Get out of here. Oh no. Let's have a moment of silence for the uh, testificate who lost his life and then regained one and then lost it again. You will be missed. Okay then, and he was a librarian, so I guess I guess nobody's gonna need these books anymore, right? I, I'll take these if nobody minds. Um, okay, let me take these. Uh, whoa, he's a fast one. He's running around over there real quickly. But yeah, we do have more testificate houses to adventure. Maybe this will be my go-to house for now on. <laughs> now that nobody's occupying it, this is a pretty nice one. I'm being quite morbid right now, but <laughs> you gotta think about yourself sometimes in a survival world like this. It's a dog-eats-dog -dog world. But ooh, this is a nice house. It has even a little balcony. Let me look around what's in this one. Maybe it's some type of shop owner, I'm guessing? But this is interesting indeed. Hmm. There doesn't seem to be any type of uh, villager around here that seems to own the house, so... Okay, then. I definitely want to try to find some people to trade with. Uh, you, you, you're the guy with the, the flint that I don't need. You're the guy with the compass. You're the guy with the emeralds. But I don't have really the uh, raw beef to trade with you. Hmm, definitely want to keep him around. And you, have I seen you before? Let me talk to you really quick. You have the Eye of Ender. So these guys aren't anything new, but cool. I still think it's really awesome that we found an awesome little village where we can get some nice resources and all that kind of stuff and have some people to trade with. Definitely going to keep these guys on my mind when I do need anything like emeralds or maybe some Ender Eyes. But for now, we're going to find a house that probably isn't occupied, like this one without a door, probably isn't occupied, and take this glass. Oh, can we take glass pane? Is that something you can take, or does that just break into oblivion? Hmm, it doesn't seem to actually give me it back. That's sort of a bummer. Either way, we'll take this. We'll take this, um, this sand rock, this sandstone, whatever it is, just because, you know, it's nice to have that. I wanted to get the sand paint, I mean, the glass paint, because that would be nice for my own house, but I guess we can't do that. Either way, we will continue adventuring. Maybe we should continue off that way, see if we can't find anything else glorious before we start heading back. We do have to remember that we came from about over yonder. So it's it's important to remember that so we don't get lost and lose our house forever. That wouldn't be fun at all. But yeah, so far, so good, I'd say. But let's uh, knock this over. It's almost completely gone. Maybe what I should do is chop down a tree, like, like we're sort of far from any trees, but <laughs> we will chop down a tree and maybe make sort of a halfway point at the village. That way I can put some stuff in here if I'm feeling like it, maybe in that little library place I just was. <laughs> and then we can um, be fine with that. So let's uh, pick all this up now. And there are some trees over there. So let's go on over. Alrighty, then we are back with some wood. And why is there just a floating piece of sand here? Let me take this out then. Get rid of you. There we go. <laughs> Excellent. All right. Like I said, let's go back over here and now make a chest so that we can sort of just deposit some stuff. Make sure it doesn't get think, dislocated or anything. So we should be able to go over here. And oh wait, I gotta turn the wood into. Here we go. Now I'm ready. All right. And then let's make two of these. And then let's uh, get it over here. So we'll replace it with the zombie meat, some of the meat we destroyed while uh, saving the villagers, or the meat we got by destroying the uh, zombies while saving the villagers. <laughs> That's what I meant to say, but we got some reeds. Uh, we don't need the clay right now, put the books back, the smooth sandstone, the pumpkins, the cactus, that kind of stuff we can keep in here for now, just because we won't need it at this very moment in time, but we will need it at some point. It'll be nice to, you know, just plop it down here, though, so that we have a place to go if things start going really badly for us. But in the meantime, we have this nice little abode that totally wasn't somebody else's uh, place before. <laughs> but, um, yeah, we also have carrots. We also have some potatoes. I might take a little bit more with me and then head on out. It's been a nice, fun day or two, villagers. I hope you guys stay safe. I know I've been your protector for the last little bit, but I'm sure you guys can manage on your... Did I talk to you? Yes, yeah, I did. Okay. Just making sure I talk to just about everybody. 
Yeah, <laughs> the Flint dude. I love the Flint dude. Anyways, see you villagers. See you sometime soon. Goodbye! And our adventure continues. All the way to the north, it looks like we have some swamplands, some jungle, and a cool mountain. Wow, even bigger mountains off that way. But before we go that way, I totally want to check out the swamp around here. Um, it's been a long time since I've been in a swampland, and we actually have yet to be in a swampland in our in our little let's play here. So I figure let's stop on by, and there's even more mountains off that way. Man, awesome. Okay then, looks like we have a lot to explore then, and the music kicks in, and it's all awesome and stuff. <laughs> so cool. Alrighty then, and I have to say, I'm so glad the series has been doing so well so far. Um, a lot of people have been checking it out, and I just want to say thank you for your support on the videos. Um, the liking and the commenting always does help get more people to see the videos and to enjoy them as well. So thank you guys so much for your support. It really does matter, and I really do pay attention to it. I did want to say, for those of you who are curious, I have been a little slow with responding to comments recently. And don't get me wrong, it's not because I don't like the comments. I love that you guys come. Oh no, we dropped the meat all the way to the bottom. We gotta pick it up. Come on, pick it up. I don't know where it went. Oh no, my meat. There it is, my pork chop. That's my dinner, and it's getting all soaked up in, in water. But like I said, I've been a little late with responding to comments, and don't get me wrong, it's not because I don't care to. I read every single comment, usually right around when it's posted, I'm really on top of that. But you guys have been doing such a fantastic job with making so many comments, it's been really hard to respond to each and every one of them. But I do plan on, after the holiday season, going through the last like 20 videos and responding to your comments, so feel free to keep on commenting. I will read them, and I will eventually respond to the good majority of them. I'm just sorry if you feel like you've been being been ignored, but you haven't been, I promise. And look at this, we have a little speckled mushroom. Do 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 do. We're playing some Mario now. We're we gonna grow like twice in size. <laughs> uh, I don't think so, but we got some mushrooms now, and this is interesting little swampland. But next to a gigantic mountain that we must trek. Ooh, and a little chicken. You know what? I do need some dinner. Well, I mean, I actually have the pork chop, but you never you can never have too much food, right? <laughs> Maybe you can, but that's not the time. Alrighty then, so, ooh, is there anything down here? It looks like we have a little bit. I'm gonna pick up this coal, because I know that we are running low back at the house. Now, I do not want to hop down there, because it's gonna be pretty much a big challenge to make our way back up. But I'm just loving this. We're sort of like <laughs> hitchhikers of some sort, but without cars to pick us up, we are just sort of traveling the countryside, finding what's cool, checking it out, and just enjoying that. Enjoying that so much. We just gotta remember that the, uh, Village is off that way, okay. I wish that we probably should have made a second uh, house, or not a second house, but a second map, and hey, some cows over here as well. Oh man, it's just so cool, and the music kicks in so well, and it's just, oh, this game is so much fun sometimes, I gotta tell you what. And I did wanna say, relevant Minecraft information, recently there was a new game announced by Telltale Games, the maker of Walking Dead, the maker of Game of Thrones, the maker of, uh, well, not the TV shows, but the games, and maker of uh, Tales from the Borderlands. They are making a Minecraft Telltale game called Minecraft Story Mode. Now, there's been a lot of people saying they don't like the idea, but I think I'm all for it. I think it is the coolest thing, and I cannot wait to play the game once it comes out later in 2015. I did want to ask, what is your opinion on Minecraft Story Mode? Like I said, I think it is super duper duper cool, and I think it's going to be a lot of fun to play. I mean, I understand that some people don't want a story for the Minecraft mode, but I don't think it's going to be canon or anything like that, and we're actually running low on food. Let's uh, have some food right now. Yum, 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 yum. And ah, uh, there's just, there's so many places to go, I don't know where to go first. I feel like we should just keep traveling until we find like a cool cave or something, but maybe we should just like settle down soon and really find a cave to start digging into. I feel like that's gonna be our best idea, but before we do, let's travel to a top of the mountain. All the way to the top of the mountain, we are excellent Minecraft climbers. We are rock climbers. <laughs> okay, we can do it. We can do it. Oh man. There's, there's a lot of uh, blocks that I can't, just can't climb out. I probably should just use my shovel, but I'm not going to. I need to use my rock climbing pride. Huh, there, oh no! Okay then, I give in. I give in. <laughs> the laziness got me. Oh no, it's getting dark though. This isn't something I thought about. Uh oh, it's getting dark really quick too. I mean, the day just felt like it started and it's almost ending now, come on. That's sort of a bummer. We have a whole world to look above. But, you know, maybe this is our time to flee into a cave where there's gonna be baddies anyways, right? So maybe we should run on down, try to find a cave to a refuge in. And ooh, what is this kind of tree? Some interesting kind of uh, 
Jungle tree, I guess? Hmm, interesting. Uh-oh, ooh, man, that was a little too close for comfort. I almost didn't make that jump. Quite the daring one, and I still get hurt for it. You know, let's just run down here and start digging down. Hello, pooch. You're not my pooch, but you're a pooch. That's always cool. And man, there's just so much to do, so, more, so much places to go. Just gotta find out where to go first. It is getting dark quickly, though, so we do need to find something to hide in or go into or something. I'm going to travel a little bit farther. If I don't find anything, then I'm gonna start digging downwards. Ooh, there's something over here. Hmm. Let me uh, torch it up then. There we go. It's just a little, it's a little cove, a little alcove, and I don't think we're gonna find any caves in here, but maybe this is where we can start digging downwards. And with that being said, do we have any blocks to really block us off for now? <laughs> block, block. Okay then. Um, let's see. Uh, let's just do a bit of this. Doop doop boo. Blocking myself from the baddies who might actually attack me. Uh oh, here we go, ooh. And then do that. That way we just have some minor protection as we start digging this way. <laughs> and I'm still quite the Minecraft noob, aren't I? All right then, let's uh, start digging this coal up and this make this our way to go downwards. <laughs> I think that'll be the best option here. But yeah, I really want to start getting a structure going on and some to-do lists on what we can do in this series. It feels like we're doing something new and awesome each and every day, which is really, really cool, because I want it, want every episode to be an exciting adventure. And I feel like now is, is where we continue, or recontinue our trek for more diamonds. And a few episodes ago, you might have heard that I only have two diamonds. We adventured for some, we found some, but not quite enough. So now we have to go back down and find some more. And I feel like, you know, maybe now is just the best time to do that. What's a uh, first uh, cap this up a bit more by just doing this? I just want to make sure we're as safe as can be. And let's do a bit of that. There we go. I don't think anybody's gonna get in there. <laughs> but I figure we can dig down. We can get some cool stuff like diamonds, maybe some other stuff like emeralds or redstone that we really haven't found too much. I know everyone wants us to go to um. What is it, floor 12, to start doing some strip mining so that we can find as many diamonds as possible because apparently, statistically, that is where you can find the most diamonds, which is really interesting. Uh oh, I already hear the gurgles and gaggles of zombies outside. I do not want to be out there. I'm glad we got into this refuge as quickly as possible. But man, <laughs> we got really closer. We almost ran into uh, some big problems. All right, then, we're just gonna keep on mining down. Sometimes it's good just to take in the game like this. And I know some people don't really like this, like they want me to cut out the mining part, but it's Minecraft, like, that's a such, like mining is such a huge part of the game, just sitting here and digging down. This is so, such an important part for some, some of the aspects of it. So it's like, I feel like I have the right to keep it in. And I hope you don't mind, that is. But uh, let's put another torch down. It gets dark quick down here. All right, there we go. And I really do love the game on the PS4. I, I definitely want to get a second visit to the PC version sometime soon. I'm, I have an idea. I'm going to cover this a little bit more in detail when um, I do my weekly update video, which may or may not be up, or my, my, my weekly update video is my bi-weekly update video. Basically, I do it every other week. But basically, I'm going to be doing something in 2015 that I think will be cool. I've always had a really big affliction to um, the story, or not the story modes, but you know when people make their own maps in Minecraft and it has a little story to it, it's an adventure map. That's the word I'm looking for. I love adventures. That's why I get so excited when we find a new village and we can look into the houses. It's this, adventuring is so much fun. So that's why I really like adventure maps and I really wanna start doing some on the channel. So would you guys be interested on some PC mode adventure maps? I don't know if it's possible to do an adventure mode on a uh, PS4 version. I'm not sure how that works, but I know how it works on the PC, so I totally, totally check that out. And if you guys are interested, I'm definitely willing to do it. There are some really, really cool adventure mode maps that I want to do on the channel. It's just all about if you guys are interested. But I really love adventures, and I love user-created stuff. That's why I love Little Big Planet. That's why I love all that kind of stuff. <laughs> but yeah, I'm excited to give that a shot. I've been really in the mood to do it, so that'll be fun. All right, let's dig this up. And eventually, one of these days, hopefully when I am more monetarily sound, I'm hoping to open up a Minecraft server for you guys to play on and to enjoy, and we can eventually do community nights on those and maybe even do stuff like the Hunger Games and fun stuff like that. Who knows, the world of opportunities are here for us, I'd say. 
And it's, it's really true. There's a world of opportunities as us as a fan base because of how awesome you guys are. Oh boy, we found something. Whoa, it is dark. It is very, very dark. Okay. Let's try to open this up a bit. Um, boop, there we go. Um, okay, I'm a little nervous. I gotta, I gotta shake off this nervousness really quick. Okay, and then uh, put, place this guy down. All right, it's not really much. It's actually just a little ravine of water, really. There's not really too much in here. Sort of bummed out. I thought that was gonna be a bit of a cave. But no, it's just a little bit of water. It looks like we've been, hit a bit of a bump in the road. How about, it's like we have the choice to go right or left. But since I'm left-handed, I always like to choose left, you know, just sort of <laughs> shout out to me. Shout out to all those left-handed people out there. Left hooved, I should say. <laughs> but there we go. We're gonna sort of dig around this here and get another torch down. We have plenty and plenty and plenty of torches. So there's not much to worry about there. Let's just keep on digging. Keep on digging, keep on digging and going through here. And then we should be good now. We should be past the water so we can continue start to start digging down again. How deep are we though? Uh, Pretty deep now, I think. We are in 43, not quite where I want to be, but we're getting there, we're getting there, and that's what the most important thing is. Remember that, if, if it's not about where you are right now, it's where you're going and what you're working hard to do. That's the most important thing about life. And then we're gonna keep on digging down and get to where we wanna be, and then we'll be happy with a bucket full of diamonds and be like, yes, we are the rich people of the world, hooray! <laughs> but yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll do it, guys, we'll do it. Just have faith, have to have hashtag zebra faith, hashtag zebra luck. Okay then, let's do that. And I also wanted to say that we're getting really, really close to 16,000 subscribers and it isn't even 2015 yet. As we're recording this, it's uh, December 23rd, a few days before Christmas, but yeah. It's so cool, oh man, it's, it's there's some lava too? What? Why is there a light down here? Uh, I'm a little nervous. Oh boy, oh, oh boy, oh man, another mine shaft. We've ran into these in the past. They are quite the labyrinth. They can be really hard to deal with. They are really spooky too. Oh man, I'm nervous now. We're back into one of these places. All right, I'm just trying to light it up a bit without running into any spooky monsters, okay? So I think the first thing I'll do is plug this area up. Now, don't get me wrong, lava's awesome, but I don't wanna get burned by it. I don't want any enemy trying to come around from there. And I think I'm gonna do the same thing here because it looks like there's a lot of places for them to sneak up from, but up to me through here. So let me just plug this up just like this. There we go, and then we have a little peephole just in case we wanna look without them shooting at us or something silly like that. There we go. And we have some iron too. All right, dig this up because we actually are starting to run low on that precious iron. So pick this guy, these guys up, excellent. And now we have this area, and now we're not sort of like, have the possibility of being attacked from behind, so I'm feeling a lot more chill about this, but it is a ravine mixed in with the mine shaft once again. So what do we got? A diamond, oh boy. Okay then, so let's put this all here. I think this is gonna be my go-to chest right here. And then we're gonna look around, look up, look down, look left and right before we cross the street. It's the same thing with crossing a monster-filled ravine. What's gonna be in here, more stuff? Let me uh, take it all out and then take this away. And then we're gonna make a big super chest right over here. This is gonna be like my safe go-to zone. This is gonna be my hidey hole, I guess you could say, is over here. This is gonna be our base of operation. This is a better word for it all. <laughs> and there we go. So now we can put this here, in here, and just in case something drastically horrible happens on our way home, or while we're in this mine shaft, we can make our way back here some way, somehow, hopefully find it, and then be able to be safe again. That'll hopefully be how it works, who knows though. And we also have some wood around here by, you know, because it's made, the mine shaft is made out of wood in some spots, as you can see there and there. And hopefully if we need any type of food or anything like that, we can get it. We also have more of this, which is gonna be helpful. Tons and tons of stuff, basically. But this is awesome. Our adventure continues in this mine shaft, and we have one extra diamond, so our goal of getting more diamonds is doing fantastic. But with that being said, I'd like to thank you guys so much for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like and share it with your friends and family, because the support really does help. And commenting in the comment section below, what do you think about this episode and things we've done and seen? Because I think it's been quite the blast. Either way, we also have Lapis Lazuli. How did I not mention that? Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.